Alex with windowcleaner.com. This is the zero screen cleaner. When you take your zero screen cleaner out of the box, this is how it's gonna look. To set it up, take all your legs, all four of them, stand them straight up in the air. If you look top down, there are triangles on each corner. All you're gonna do is fold each leg one at a time down onto those triangles. This is going to ensure the legs are secure. Flip it over, set it on the ground, and you're good to go. A garden hose connects to the brass fitting at the bottom there, and inside there's a single tube with two holes drilled in it. That's gonna give great water pressure towards the top of the screen cleaner shooting out of that tube. It is just a PVC tube. You can pull it out and put some more holes in there if you'd like to spread that pressure out a little bit, but it comes standard with just two and it's easy enough to add more if you'd like. Inside near the bottom, there's also a standard shutoff valve. It's a 3 8 inch shutoff valve. It's plastic, easy to replace, and it's inside the screen, so it's not something that's gonna get damaged very easily. The bristles also have a very long life. There are four brushes in here. There's other screen cleaners on the market that only have two brushes. Four is going to clean better than two. You have four brushes in here. If they ever do wear out years down the road, you can repair them, replace them. Just pull them straight out and put new ones right back in the track in the same spot that you pulled it out from. No tools are needed. There's nothing stopping it. Just give it a good hard pull and they'll come right out. With uh, that one brush out, you can see the tube in here. You can see there's a cap on it. You can see the on-off valve, and you can see that brass garden hose inlet there. To put your new bristle back in, just drop it in the track and push it down. You're good to go. With the legs set up properly, you will not have any wobble. What I'd recommend while you're using the screen cleaner is turn it so the tube is shooting the water away from you, and you can put one foot on either side here to keep it from moving. But even with no feet on it, it is pretty substantial. I do have a screen we can run through here and I can show you how well it will clean and the movements you should do to get the screen and the entire frame really clean. Once your garden hose is connected, run it in a direction you're not gonna trip over it, obviously, and then engage the on-off valve and water will start to flow through the center of the screen cleaner. Take your screen, run it in side to side, but also do a kind of circular motion. This will help clean the frame and get the screen material from every angle possible. After you clean the screen, you can give it a, a gentle tap, or if you carry a towel on you, swat with a towel a few times, let them sit out and dry. But as you can see, going back and forth through the screen cleaner, it really doesn't have any wobble to it. My feet are not soaked. I just kept one foot right on the back leg towards me. This screen cleaner is incredibly lightweight. It's versatile because it folds up. It takes up a lot less space. It's only about 11 or 12 pounds. Uh, easy to store, easy to set up, garden hose connection right in. It can't be easier. It's a great value. It's a great way to upsell your customers on screen cleaning. You can charge a few bucks extra for. You can even remove or cover up the zero screen cleaner sticker. Put your phone number, window cleaning, screen cleaning, your company name, your logo, website, whatever on there. Use this as a marketing tool in the customer's front yard or driveway to get you more business. For more information or to get your very own zero screen cleaner, head over to windowcleaner.com.